Doesn't seem like he had any ill effects yesterday from his chemotherapy. No. no. Nine-year-old Taylor just had his fourth chemotherapy treatment for bladder cancer. I adore Taylor. Uh, you know, we are always doing things together. We'll get a CBC, right. You may see a Scottish Terrier here, but Emilio Romero sees a child. We play, we eat together. We don't call them pets anymore. They're companion animals. They're members of the family. And because of that, people want better care. Maybe the, maybe the white cells go down, but that's why we're going to check the, the CBC. And they're willing to pay for it. Taylor's medical bills will run $5,000 to extend his life by perhaps a year. I would sacrifice anything for him. These are like my children, definitely. When Nancy Valentino's Schnauzer was diagnosed with a mast cell tumor. Hi, sweet boy. Come on up, let's take a look. She was surprised to discover all the treatment available. And she's a nurse. I had no idea. I've got lots of patients that do surgery, radiation, and chemo. We do all three, just like they do in people. And I said, I'm ready, let's go for it. So, and he did extremely well. Eight weeks of chemo, he never missed a beat. At South Texas Veterinary Specialist, Dr. Stacy Randall administers chemotherapy to about 25 dogs like Cisco every week. What do you think of that? That's a TV camera. You didn't know you were going to be special, did you? All the drugs are the same drugs that, that we use in people. A cancer survivor herself, Dr. Randall uses the same drugs used to treat her to treat animals. I know, we're almost done. You know cancer is the leading cause of death in dogs over the age of two. The Cure Canine Cancer website just launched an effort to raise $30 million to find a cure. He's 40 three weeks out on his chemotherapy. He's in remission. The results give veterinarians well. like Dr. Randall better tools to treat their canine patients. It's been an hour since Cisco had his chemotherapy and he's doing great. Unlike humans, very few animals get nauseated. They're hardier and there's the psychological component. Animals don't know those drugs can make them sick. Everything that we learn in animals will at least in some ways help in human medicine and vice versa. I'm willing, as long as he is not suffering, to go with him through all this. Thank Any you. problems, give me a holler, oh, those are two weeks. Thank you. All right. And for I most of these that. pet parents, that's a fine line between animal and human. Come Taylor, Taylor. Deborah Napkins, 5 Eyewitness News.